now and that's not gonna be what saves you. What's gonna save you is putting your, your mind, heart, body, and soul wholeheartedly into this. And if you notice, the Heavenly Father's starting to uh, close up all those other avenues of yeah. life to where it's either this or lead you to death. Yeah. You said you want that in Hebrews 11, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Hebrews 11, uh, yeah, I think it's at 8. Yeah. It's not 8. Have Hebrews 11 and verse 8. By faith, Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he should after receive for an inheritance, obeyed. And he went out not knowing whether he went. Yeah, did, 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 that's the point. Did he know where he was going to get that inheritance? He didn't know. He just was given a message to go. Okay? Then he said not knowing, but he just obeyed. Not knowing where he was going, where he went. You got it? By faith, he sojourned in the land of the promise. Hey, of we promise, don't fully me. know what this is going to end up and how it's going to play out. We just have the, the prophecies telling us. Well, a lot of us, when we came in, we kind of saw the big picture, generally, but we had the spirit on us to where we were like, you know what? I don't. There's no other way. There's no. There's no tangible way that I can get out of. If this stuff is true, there's no other tangible way to get out of this. So I'm gonna I'm put my everything into this. Something is moving me to, to towards this, and this is what it was the fear. And then and then the, the spirit of faith come upon you like, you know what? This has to be it. I have to believe in this. And these small little clues, as like watching video for me, watching a video or having a question and it being answered in the next video. That type of thing continually boosted my faith coming into this all the way up until now. You know, still other signs now. Seeing 144, seeing, you know, 777, seven, different things that are happening, or, or you say something and it come to pass. Yeah, different I, certain things. Like, when I first woke up, I was like, America gonna be destroyed? Shit, I gotta get the fuck up out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. But once, once, you know, I started learning and building faith, man. You like a lot shit, of other signs of tokens. You ready the Lord to come scoop you up, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You got faith. Right, you got it out. As in a strange country, dwelling in tabernacles with Isaac mm -hmm. and Jacob, the heirs with 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 him of the same promise. Yep. For he we looked. Got, how strong was his 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 belief, his obedience and faith that it passed said. down, that it <laughs> that it passed down to his sons. It sprouted into a blessing that just continued going. And you know what? Those other kids of his got blessed also. But not the type of blessing that was meant to come through Abraham and to his son Isaac and down to Jacob. That's the big, that's the big gift. The big box. Okay? You got it. How far you want to go? And he, yes. Uh, he can read down to uh where, where verse you at now? Verse 10. Mm -hmm. Verse 10, you can read all the way down to. Fifteen. For he looked for a city which had Salak. Sixteen. Salak, I was gonna say this real quick. If you notice, Abraham had a big chunk in this uh, faith chapter. This yeah. chapter is just about all you know, different men of faith. Abraham had a big chunk in this because he was the first to step out in obedience to that level wholeheartedly. You know, you got it. Right? He set the bar. Yep. Because he did a number of things, man. That's right. And plus him being the, the father of the promise. That's right. You know? Everybody that come of the, the, the line of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, they got to match that bar of uh, faith, man. Right. In order for them to be accounted for the seed. Standard. That's what the Lord is actually dealing with. He, he ain't dealing with you just because you happen to be born right. of, of that line. You know? Mm -hmm. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. No, you got to have faith too. And, and your faith is going to be tested. Oh, yeah. exactly. Oh, yeah. just like Abraham. It's It'll start with little, little, little tests, and then the big, the big test is coming. Yep. That everybody's gonna be uh, have to uh, have to take. You got it, bro. Verse ten. For he looked for a city which had foundations, whose builder and maker is the Most High. Through faith, also Sarah herself received strength to conceive seed, mm -hmm. order and age. Okay, through through his faith, her faith grew. Hey, and that's something to be understood. 
we have to have our faith on him because those that will that'll believe when they when they have that sign like Thomas had, they're gonna begin to believe because of the faith that we have. You believe in that? I believe in that wholeheartedly. You know what? If you believe in it, I believe in it. I believe in you. I believe in the God that you represent. I believe also. God, that's a part of your light shining before men. That's right. Then your faith shine, right, yeah. bro? Through faith also Sarah received herself received strength to conceive seed and was delivered of a child when she was past age. Yep. Because she judged him because she judged him faithfully who had promised. Therefore sprang there even of one and him as good as dead. So many talking about Isaac being born, but then him being good as dead through the obedience of the of, uh, uh, Abraham sacrificing him, but he was going to do it. You got it? So many of the stars of the sky in multitude, and as the sand which by the seashore innumerable. Uh -huh. about the seed of Israel. Yep. Yeah. And you know, it's, it's, it's spiritual how manifold yeah. a lot of these things that occurred, it, it, it has a lot of manifold significance behind it. Right. Like the fact that he was going to have Abraham sacrifice Isaac. Yeah, kind of, kind of, kind of. The Lord yeah, ended up sacrificing the, the son of Abraham, yeah. the son of David. Yeah. Yeah. Another thing, um, <laughs> Isaac. That was the that was the the, the, the man who the seed the, the promise was going to go through. Yeah. But the fact that he was actually going to sacrifice him, it's like basically you put you basically sacrificing something that's very uh, uh valuable and precious to you. Mm -hmm. So us in this truth, us forsaking this life, you might have certain things that are uh, uh, valuable precious and value. precious to you yeah. in, in this life, but you're actually forsaking it and leaving it for a, bi a bigger and better uh, a promise, man. Mm -hmm. You'd be surprised you know? how many brothers have to walk away from like family, children. I mean, the, the, the Peter Peter asked, yeah. <laughs> we forsaken everything, and Yahweh Shai gave him the blueprint. Like, look, you got to give it all up. Even your own life also. Yep. Just Even like, your own life also. Uh, just like Abel and Cain. Abel offered up that righteous sacrifice. Yep. While the devil, of course, he yep. gave something that had no value to it. Yep. Fruit. So so that, that goes also into the people like those wicked scribes and Pharisees, not giving a true sacrifice, not giving them the fullness of it, being hypocrites to it. Okay? Yeah, still got one one uh Foot one foot in the world and one yeah. foot in the truth. Yeah. No, they don't want to give it up completely. That's a half-assed sacrifice, man. Yeah. The significance of the metaphors of, of the, of the, of the uh, obedient things that the Heavenly Father uh, has written in this is for our, our to build us up. You got more though, don't you? Got it. Verse 13. These all died in faith, having not having received the promise, but having seen them afar off, and were pers persuaded of them and embraced them and confessed them that they were strangers and pilgrims of the earth. So, so they, they, yeah, yeah. They're, just wa they're just wandering, oh. taking this journey, mm -hmm. believing what the Lord told them. And they died in faith. And they faith. died having faith and they died in belief, yeah. Yeah. even though they didn't even get to reach it. Yeah. You know? And hey, all the shit that even Abraham had to go through just to, just to get there. Because he, he made it there, but he didn't get to like yeah, dwell there and enjoy yeah. it and have all his children there and all that. And he when he came down there, he had to go down into Egypt because a famine happened. Yeah. Yeah. And when he went down into Egypt, they were trying to take his woman. Yeah. Yeah. You know, because she was, you know, she was very, you know, she was eye candy to look at. Yeah. You know, them half white women, you know how they look. So they were looking at Sarah. And they were like, man, we gotta get it. Hey, you, uh, Pharaoh, you gotta get that. Yeah. You know, he had to, you know, pretend like, oh, that, that's my sister. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? And then, kill him off. Yeah. And, he, and okay. then he had his, he had his, uh, um, his, his nephew, and, and, yeah. and you know, the, the cattle and all that stuff that he that he came out of Haran with. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He had, so he was rich. He had all those things, and then to go down there to, to, was, to his, his fame or his 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 stature, his position. What's the word I'm looking for? His uh, basically his possessions made him uh, uh, in similarity to the, to Pharaoh. But yeah, they, 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 took, the they, took, they took notice to it. Like, yeah, yeah. this dude got so much, 
he's taking up our land with all this. And shit. he got the baddest chick in the game. You <laughs> know what I mean? And, and <laughs> not having all those things, but one thing that he did also have was uh, most important thing was was faith and wisdom. Mm -hmm. You know, he had he had wisdom. He didn't he teach them uh, uh, mathematics and um, did he teach them? Um, I think the I want to say he taught maybe the when he was in Ur. I read something where he said they taught he, Abraham taught them. You know about math and like you know a bunch of things, but he had wisdom also yep. you know, above all those worldly. And that's shit, what you know? got him that the position of, of having all, I mean, those possessions, you know, yeah. to where he would look like he was on a level of Pharaoh walking through there. Nice. You know? yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, yeah, man. He even and he even got into wars. Yes, man. He even had to get. He even got into the wars. Shalom. You know. Yeah, I've been Minnesota. Oh yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah, man. He, he, you know, when you read, uh, was that Genesis, uh, <laughs> either the 13th or the 14th uh, chapter, he got into those uh, wars. Let me say this a lot. As long as you show those great millstone brothers out there, as long as you show the great millstone brothers out there. Show the brothers out there, Minneapolis. Oh yeah. My son out there, Minneapolis. Yeah, they got a lot of them out there. Yeah. That's all the Hebrew is. That's right. So are you? You got it. That's all. That way. Yep. So uh, uh, read that again. Uh, okay. The need the picture. Uh, <laughs> these all died in faith. We uh, got you. Not having received the promise, but having seen them afar off, and were persuaded of them, and embraced them, and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. For they that such, like for they that say such things, declare plainly that they seek a country, and. And truly, if they had been mindful of that country from whence they came out, they might have have had opportunity opportunity to have returned. But now they desire a better country that is a heavenly. Yep. Wherefore, the Most High is not ashamed to be called their power, for he hath prepared for them a city. Yeah, and, and that goes right. Matter of fact, somebody get second Ezra 7 right quick. Because it talks about a city is building, so we're gonna correlate that to that. Seven. And, uh, you can start up at uh. You yeah, started uh, uh. Uh three. Yeah, three. Okay. Uh, second Esther chapter seven and three, and I said, "Speak on, my lord." Then said he unto me, "The sea is set in a wide place, uh -huh. that it might be deep and great, mm -hmm. but put the case." The entrance were narrow. Just like Abraham went through a, 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 a difficult way, a narrow path to get to where he had to. It, the course wasn't just smooth. It wasn't wide open, it wasn't short, it wasn't easy. The same course for us, it's not gonna be easy. To get to the to the, to, to salvation, we gotta go through trials and tribulation and our building up of our faith and our character and our um, integrity. Yeah, through, through much tribulation shall we enter into to the kingdom. Right. You know, hey, during that time when Abraham was, you know, making his journey and going through the things that he was going through, that was his tribulation, right. you know? And he didn't even get to see uh, the, the promised land. Mm -hmm. You know? So, yeah. But that don't mean he's not appointed to the promised but, but, land in this, you know? Of course. He's the father of the promise, so he's going to be blessed and, you know, all his seeds would be blessed. Right. You got that. Verse 4. I'll, I'll read it again. Uh -huh. And I said, Speak on, my power. Then said he unto me, The sea is set in a grit, in a wide place, and mm -hmm. that it might be deep and great. But put the case, the entrance were narrow and like a river. Who then could go into the sea to look upon it and to rule it mm -hmm. if he went not through the narrow? If you didn't go, how are you going to understand how to navigate the wide, great, and deep? You know, I hate to say easy street, but when, when we're in the kingdom of heaven, it's going to be a whole lot of, it's going to be easy. I'm going to just put it out there that way. It's going to be easy, but if you don't, you won't appreciate how easy it's going to be, I'm just using that word, how great it's going to be if you didn't go through the trials and tribulations and the difficulty in this to learn how to judge and, the, and the discern going into that great 
deep, deep situation. It's going to be like a great flood of trials and tribulation and, and all kinds of evil coming to this earth, man. So 